Right, you join me in a dank mains cupboard. Now I want to show you guys this one because it's something I come across earlier this year and it's a very, very old mains and it's got an interesting story behind it about upgrading and the limitations of these uh, old pill cables and loads and diversity, all sorts of bits going on. Anyway, let me show you the, the uh, offending cable. So here's our incoming pilk coming across and this is our service head so you can see lots of fuses all the way along it and you've got these bits where it splits off so we've got a phase there phase there phase there obviously i don't know which phase is which because well no one truly does really but nothing's labeled up and what we've got these are our fuse carriers so we've got this plastic cover with an insulator there and that goes onto the buzz bar this is one that's been damaged as you can see without that cover it's completely exposed and easy to get our fingers in there so these bits have been reported but there's just been issues with them attending because there's arguments about who's responsible for which part but that part's definitely responsible uh, the responsibility of the dno so these are just little insulators here and that goes on and that's going through as a common buzz bar so you've got quite a few flats here and what's the the issue they've been having is with their heating so i'll explain in another clip so each flat is fed by a communal boiler which keeps breaking down and the idea was they were going to change over to electric however these have only got an estimated 30 amps they're allowed they applied diversity when they were built and that's all the flats were allowed to have so if this needs to be upgraded, this cable needs to be upgraded, but the infrastructure around it, so they need to install a whole new substation, and it's gonna cost like quite a lot. I think it was like 50 to 100K to get the infrastructure in place for this to be upgraded. So now they're replacing the central boiler system as part of the works, but it wasn't until that, because it kept, I think it's like every week, it was breaking down and having a call out, and it's just ongoing maintenance issues. And there is, they thought, all electric would be the solution but if you put immersion heats and storage heats in these fuses are soon going to run out of uh, juice but this system is just so antiquated the dno do need to upgrade it but there's going to be issues so every one of these flats has got their fuse and then there's their neutral and if you look i'll show you this one the old virs here so vulcanized indian rubber kind of looks like snake skin up close and they go up and they're in these conduits so you've got conduit going across there and the conduit going across there and that is the earth for the property so we've just got live neutral conduit earth now to upgrade this you can pull through these conduits but it's never going to happen and upgrading this means that there's going to be a lot of infrastructure work that needs doing which isn't the responsibility of the dno the DNO are not responsible for any upgrades inside the building. They're only responsible up to here. But they can't upgrade this system because it's not going to... What they'd come in with, with a huge 200 amp supply to free fuses, which would then go off to a rifle board to feed the flats. So you'd need to... The owners of this building would need to put a rifle board somewhere in here. And as you can see, the real estate is pretty much taken and then get the submains up to the flats and then be a one big changeover where the new supply is cut off into a 200 amp, feed the rifle board, all of these supplies are cut off and then, then change it over inside the flats. And bear in mind there's four flats for four, I think there's 16 in here, 20? I think it's 20 flats. So it's a lot, a lot of work. And it's where people go back and forth about who owns what, but the BNO, the building network operator, owns anything after these fuses so they need to upgrade all of these cables if we look just inside here i'm not going to take off the lid but oh I just, just twatted my head on that conduit <laughs> damn it but it also becomes a nightmare for a meter operator so the meters are in the flats and they've got these old labels at the bottom here to identify the flats but they don't always marry up so it's a bit of a mare and yeah, you're going to want to pull the wrong fuse. You can get fuse traces on them and they'll make a sort of put a signal down the cable and then you can put it on the fuse. 
and try and find the right one, but it's an absolute mare. Um, you've got these little tags coming off the pilk cable, so it's the, the lead of the pilk. Um, the earth reading is actually really good here, it's 0 0.09, so it's actually a really, really good earth. Um, but this system is really, really ancient and really, really needs to be <laughs> updated. Let me go through some of the codes that are here. So if we start at the beginning, got a damaged Henley block here on the neutrals, exposed live parts. So that needs to, would be reported to the DNO. It's the, so it'd be marked down as an X rather than an actual code. Um, this one here, same again, access to live parts. This one, I mean, this is a C1 because there's immediate danger there because that's easily touchable. Go along more. This meter cover is completely missing. So the report in this is you need to find out who owns this meter. So it used to belong to the London Electricity Board. However, whoever the landlord is paying their electricity to, electricity to now owns this meter for this to be reported to and rectified. We've got this that's been forced on the newer one. We've got a neutral I can't really see it but they've covered up the neutral block in there hang on let me let me try and uh, get a light off okay you can just about see it through the lid so they put this over it so it's quite it's quite clever really because you can't now no longer see the live parts um, this is more modern stuff that's been adapted but I imagine there's been a bit of a sneaky done on this and the tails popped out of the meter to isolate it because the offending fuse is this one and the original seal is still in place. So it's a bit, hmm, bit iffy. I don't think there's any copper showing at any of these meters here. No, no, nothing showing there. Got old vulcanized Indian rubber cables still in use here. This is the lift supply, I believe. Um, and yeah, it's the same again at these Henley blocks. So all in all, it's rather rather old and needs a lot of work but how can the dno fix it without turning the supply off to all of these flats and if they're off supply and the infrastructure isn't in place for the new supply the dno can't repair this stuff so it's really it's like a chicken and egg thing and it's just going to keep going round and round in circles and i don't know what the solution is but it's not very safe to give you an idea how old these are, this is the year of manufacture, the second number, so 65, 66, 66, 79. So these meters have been in a while and were probably originals. Um, these old dial meters are quite difficult to read and people do have difficulty reading them. So if you look at this, have a guess in the comments what the, the reading is. But <laughs> it's not quite before the three. So you see it's there, you look at the number before, it's at nine, it's just before the nine. And that's so you've got this ticks over, so when that reaches zero, that will reach three. So the reading is two, eight, eight, three, six. And this is not a number, this is just a like a tenth of a kilowatt. But people do struggle with these. Um yeah, I just thought it was quite an interesting interesting find and I'd share it that was my knee that made that cracking noise if you heard it I was here to do the EICR at this one here and um, yeah they've added these heating bits since I've been here to um, put all the new boiler and immersion heaters and different bits in but if I do find out I'll uh, I'll let you guys know the results anyway catch you in the next one